This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I use fiber mesh so that it only affects one side of a model? So as an example of this, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a plain 3D object here loaded in. So we're not looking at a lot of density here, and it's just a single-sided plain object. So the question is asking about fiber mesh. So let's say I have something like this plain object here, and I want to generate some grass effects on it. So let's say I'm sculpting a train, I take a plane, I start modifying it, and then I want to use fiber mesh to generate some grass. So to do this, I go to the tool palette, I then go down to the fiber mesh area here, and I'm going to click on this light box to fibers button. This is going to open up light box here. In here, I'm going to pick a fiber that I want to use. So I'm going to pick the fiber 78, which is already set up to look like grass. I'm just going to double click that to activate that fiber. Then I'm going to hit comma on my keyboard to hide lightbox there. And you can see now I'm getting this result. So I'm getting this grass generated from that plain object. However, you'll see it's being generated on the top and also on the bottom of the surface. Well, I really only want the grass to come from one side of this plane. I really don't need it underneath the ground. So why is this happening and how can I get it so that it only applies to one side of a model? So the reason why you're getting fiber mesh applied to both sides of this mesh here is because more than likely you have the double-sided option turned on in the tool palette. So if I navigate to the tool palette here, I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to open up the display properties area. And in here, there is this double-sided button. So double-sided will show back faces. So what this means is that this was a single-sided polygon plane here, and with double-sided turned on, I can now see the front and the back of that, even though there isn't any polygons on the back side. Now when this double-sided option is active and you're using fiber mesh, fiber mesh will see the front side of the faces and also the back side of the faces, and it will generate fibers from both those sides. So if I only want the fibers to be generated on one side of the model, you just need to make sure that your mesh has double-sided turned off before you activate the fiber mesh preview. So if I come over here and just turn off double-sided by just clicking this option here, my plane object now has double-sided disabled. However, you won't see an effect instantly. And this is because the fiber mesh has already looked at the surface of that plane and already generated a preview from it. So after you turn this off, we need to go back up to our fiber mesh area here. And now we just need to toggle the preview. So we just need to turn it off and turn it back on. So I'm just come here and click this and then click it back on. And now you'll see that the preview has now respected that double-sided option being turned off. And now I'm only getting the fibers being generated on one side of that plane object. So if you're coming across models that have fiber mesh growing on both sides, just make sure that in the tool palette, down underneath the display properties here, that your subtool has double-sided turned off. And also remember that after you've turned it off, make sure you just toggle the preview so that the fiber mesh is updated correctly on your mesh. Now in addition to the double-sided functionality, there is also this embed slider here in the fiber mesh menu. And this will allow you to embed fibers into the surface. So for this fiber that I selected, this was set to zero, so none of the fibers are going through the ground plane there. But if I change my embed to a positive value, you can see that the fibers will start going through that plane. So it's just going to change the offset from the surface with those fibers. So if you're using a fiber mesh preset and you have double side turned off and your fibers are still going through your mesh, check this embed slider over here and make sure it's set to zero. And that'll make sure those fibers are not going to go through the surface that you've created. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!